Bitcoin is a boomer coin. Bitcoin is old news. Bitcoin is useless. Those are the conversations that most people are having right now. And so the question we need to evaluate in this video is, is Bitcoin even worth your attention here in the tail end of 2021? Or has crypto moved on? So earlier this week, an intriguing article was released on Cointelegraph. The overall premise of the article was that the most interesting innovations within the space are happening outside of Bitcoin. Now, of course, you would literally have to be dead and buried under a rock to not understand that because I don't know when the last innovation besides this strike integration with Twitter, when any innovation was happening around Bitcoin. I don't know about anything happening on Bitcoin, to be honest. We got the Taproot upgrade and then we got the Lightning Network integration into Twitter. To be honest, the Twitter thing's actually pretty cool. We'll talk about that at the end. Something is brewing and those finely tuned with noses can smell it as traders have come to expect Bitcoin is doing Bitcoin things by bouncing around between usual key support and resistance level. And to be honest, it's all starting to feel a bit boomerish. Decentralized autonomous organization, DAO, are hot. Non-fungible tokens are hot. And play-to-earn gaming is hot. Metaverses are hot. How many of these things have I been telling you are the future of the crypto ecosystem here on this channel? Way, way before they actually popped off. I've been giving you the tools to get ahead of this. Despite what feels like every single bit of innovation happening outside of Bitcoin within the crypto ecosystem, Bitcoin will, in my mind, remain the star because of the moat being created by the regulators. DeFi will probably get knocked down a few pegs and a lot of money will flee to safer pastures. And in my mind, that floods in to Bitcoin and NFTs as the more regulated, more enshrined assets in the crypto ecosystem. And those projects built around NFT will see astronomical returns, while Bitcoin and its store of value will also return to the frame as a main use case. Now we see it being used with low friction across Twitter. And the actual case for Bitcoin making its way to a form of money is very interesting. And the store of value becomes quite a bull case once again. But what we'll see here is that Bitcoin will be the first one to make it to the NBA of sorts, to the big leagues of assets. And for that reason, it will remain in the spotlight. We're back again with another non-fungible Tuesday, and we're here to talk about the NFTs that have been going absolutely parabolic, holding gains, and in my opinion, the absolute best opportunities that I've seen in the crypto space. And they don't seem to really care about this quote unquote bear market. We're seeing once again, the winter wonderland that is NFTs. I wanted to go over some projects that I've just invested into and tell you two ways to approach this market. First of all, the mentality is if you can afford to do it, getting into good projects, obviously as early and cheaply as possible and then holding them until they go the way of some blue chips and of course knowing that you might miss out on some flips along the way now if i had a smaller stack and i was looking at nfts as the opportunity to really turn a small amount of money into a big amount of money then you can't just be sitting stuck in one asset and so obviously getting early to the sub 0.1 eth floor prices and then waiting for them to get up to like an eth and then selling that's a really good strategy as well so one that we covered that I picked up a bunch around 0.1 to 0.2 was Monster Buds. This actually went up as high as like 0.7, I think. And now it's coming down a little bit, but they're starting to introduce, as you can see, um, fully realized buds and they'll have breeding soon as well. I'm not selling my Monster Buds. I want to see where it goes. Uh, it's got an interesting breeding mechanic and it's from a known artist. So I'm going to keep holding on to those. There's this project Boss Beauties. People are kind of looking at this as like the knockoff um, world of women, but people are still kind of bullish on it. Again, this is one to have on your radar. Now, the thing that I just bought quite a bit of is this Spirit Orb Pets V0. This is like a Tamagotchi evolving project with a token care that will be dropped and you will, I think, maintain your Spirit Orb pet kind of like you would a Tamagotchi here. Regardless, this one has quite a bit of hype around it. It's only got 777 items. Bear in mind, a lot of collections have multi-thousand up to 10,000 is kind of the standard. So 777 is very low here. So if you're looking for something hot off the presses, again, Spirit Orb Pets has gone up a lot. So there's plenty of downside risk as well. And finally, the next project that I just aped into pretty significantly is Bears Deluxe. They have 6,900 bears and your bears will start earning honey. I see a bunch of people that are bullish on this one. Again, Bears Deluxe just got started here, but you see it's almost up to 1,000 ETH traded, 6,900 items here, 0.33 floor price, and these are supposed to earn a honey token. Now, if projects promising yield like Bears Deluxe actually have that yield token hold and grow in value, that's super bullish. This is the next hot little NFT project that has a DeFi element on the market. 
Today it seems as though life is imitating art here, or something like that, as one of the biggest and most prolific truth tellers here in the crypto industry has proven himself to be nothing short of an oracle. As his price predictions for Bitcoin have come true almost to a T here, and you need to be paying attention to this, because what he's predicting next will shock you, and most likely make millionaires out of everyone here in the crypto industry who might not already be at the hallowed land of seven figures. So as we look to close September on a bit of a green note here, we have a little bit of a gain here in Bitcoin. And what you'll notice that the price is hovering here right around this $43,000 level. Why is that significant? Well, there is someone in our midst, someone in our community who hath predicted a $43,000 Bitcoin as well as the closing price of last month's Bitcoin price, as well as many other ridiculously clairvoyant predictions. So let's shine a light on the man who needs no introduction, but we shall give him one, which is Plan B, the creator of the stock to flow model. But this price prediction is now absolutely insane, coming true here, and you can see he tweeted here yesterday, the worst case slash floor model is not, I repeat, not based on stock to flow, it's based on price and on-chain data, like I wrote in the June 20 tweet. So great that August closed above 47K, September is now around 43K, but it says nothing about stock to flow, stock to flow says 100K now. So it just shows you that his two models are slightly different. But the point here is that he has been predicting the future. And if you believe in this man's and his predictions, which at this point, it's pretty hard not to. He's literally the future teller that we've been waiting for. Miss Cleo re-embodied here in the crypto landscape. And what do we see is extremely bullish predictions coming out of him, six-figure Bitcoin and beyond. And in that world, hot coins like Moonriver on the Polkadot ecosystem, like awesome Solana and AVAX ecosystem projects, and of course, NFTs will go absolutely nuts. NFT Mania 3.0 is kicking off with a vengeance. And today we have massive news such as TikTok jumping into NFTs. That's right. All in the last few weeks, we have Twitter, TikTok. We know Facebook and Instagram are jumping into NFTs. This is what mainstream adoption looks like. And so the big question is, what's going on here in NFT land? And we've got everything you need to know all wrapped up in a couple minutes segment here. So make sure you smash that like button, leave a comment below and tell us what projects you want us to shine a light on if we haven't covered your favorite project just yet. Leading off strong, we have TikTok putting their hat in the ring for the NFT world. And what we see here is that they're going to have an NFT collection led by top creators. We can only assume that the Addison Rays and the Damilios and those types of folks will make appearances here. And to be honest, this is the beginning of entering into the NFT world. First, by dipping your toe, like we saw with Time Magazine recently, like we saw with Twitter months ago, like we've seen with Reddit. Guess what they're all warming up to do? actually have meaningful integrations with Web3. We've seen the beginnings of this and I told you this would happen. In fact, I made video after video after video talking about how 2021 would be the year of the NFT and that this mainstream explosion would hit. And so what do we see is that this is where the tipping point happens. This is NFTs, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you name it. Every major brand, celebrity, actor, musician, influencer, creator, community, they're all gonna be in NFT land soon. And the avalanche, the tsunami of liquidity coming to this ecosystem will boggle your mind. The story of the day without a doubt is TikTok and that entire generation starting to wake up to what verifiable digital ownership truly means and the privileges that go along with it. We saw the magnificent growth in assets for the Twitter NFTs and then Twitter integrating NFTs shortly thereafter. We can only hope and pray that NFTs will be coming natively to the TikTok platform. It seems as if that's a possibility in the future. We know it's coming to Instagram and Facebook. We know it's just come to Twitter, Reddit. Alexis Ohanian is super obsessed with NFTs. So I'm very much so of the belief that it's possibility that NFTs will come to TikTok in the not too distant future. So hold on to your JPEGs, everyone. Things are about to get absolutely crazy. What's going on, everybody? Hope everyone's having a great day. Starting off with some vibes. Go ahead, smash those likes. Not even sure if this is All right, enough of that. 
What's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome. We have a massive, massive, pumptastic morning here in crypto land. Smash those likes if you're having fun like I am, because we have a lot to cover as well. Yes, we're seeing some bullish price action, and it seems like scam timber, uh, rec timber, whatever you want to call it, is over. And then October, and the new highs are looking like they are in our future. So Bitcoin's price has jumped back. It's been painted on the wall for several weeks. If you've been following on-chain metrics, my buddy Will Clemente, people like Willy Wu, it's very obvious that the big money keep buying the supply of free bitcoins. And so, what do you do? You follow the money, of course, only if you want to be the big money yourself. If you don't, you can go ahead and get scared and sell at the lows. That's something you can do if you want to do that. But if you do want to follow that big money and be like the big money, you can't be scared when the price dumps. Those are the opportunities. It takes a while to get used to this. That is the challenge, is to go against the grain and to be counter cyclical. Anyone can tell you that it's a big green number. No one can tell you that it's going to be a big green number unless you have conviction. And that's where you see the sort of weak from the strong get separated. Willy Wu shows you the story here. What he's showing here is that the whales are just feeding. They are just feeding and feeding and feeding as the price gets fuddy. So the more fuddy the price, the more the whales feed. And as he says, nom, nom, nom. And so as long as you're able to follow the money, which we can do here super easily, you're able to put yourself in a much better position. This is it. We've done so much together. It's Friday, AMA Friday. Did you guys have a good time? I had a great time. Hope you had a great time. My name's, oh, 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 what am I doing? What am I doing? I promised, I promised, I promised, I would give stuff away. So let's give away some hardware wallets. The random comment picker YouTube. Let's go ahead and pick some comments. Not just one, but we're gonna give away five, five hardware wallets. Guys, how many we give away? Was that four or five? Four or five. Well, we're giving away another one, I don't care. 